We shall begin now. <laughs> Back once again with the PlayStation <laughs> demo discs. Okay, we're not playing PsyOps. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we are here with the Toys R Us interactive CD sampler disc from oh, Sony. <laughs> yeah. We got Medieval, A Bug's Life, Spiral the Dragon, and Crash Bandicoot Warped. Uh, keep going down. For the demos, anyway. <laughs> oh, we got NFL Game Day '99, yeah, and Siphon Filter. So we got more. All right. <laughs> you want to try your try a medieval? Because I think I played the sequel. You sure? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Oh, right, we got a lot here. Attack, activate gargoyle or book, jump, fend duck, special move. To R2, rotate the camera, pause, exit. Poor right analog stick, doesn't get used at all. Toggle, run, walk, move, double tap to run. Uh, Alright. And now for something spooky! Very spooky. Spooky. So yeah, this is odd. We played Medieval 2 before Medieval 1. But such is the Nate the order that we play these discs in. <laughs> what order? Ah <laughs> uh, yes. The the introduction. In fact at the time of us recording this, Medieval 2, that demo video hasn't even gone up yet. Still working on the Xbox stuff. I really need to pick up the remake. Oh yeah. Oh, this menu. Uh, it's so good. Oh, we do get the intro cutscene. It's a nice change of pace. Let me move the mic a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, the heroic tale of. For, oh, Sir Daniel Sir. Fortescue. Yes. <laughs> that goofy his face. Dan's crypt. better. That's right, he only speaks and mumbles. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarak and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. We hope it does well. Yes. Uh, is there an interact button or? Oh, you must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease of life. <laughs> lease of life. Oh, you, you, he stands inside the book. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how did I activate it before? Press the button. Th there, it's just X. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Hmm, 
that block looks suspicious. This one does have analog control because it had an option for L3 there. There we go. That Now I can actually run. <laughs> this is much better. That mm -hmm. block looks suspicious. Found throwing dagger. I don't know. Oh, which one? You need to switch right weapons. Oh, yeah. Is your... I think it's triangle. Triangle. No. Start. Stop throwing your... Start? Select. Uh, select. <laughs> there you go. There we yeah. go. Uh, no, no, no. Or no. You go back. There you go. To, Arm? No, no, no. To your... To your sword. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Or no. That's right, start. star rune required. Yeah, well, when in doubt, swing wildly. <laughs> Here we are. Or, no, what does this say? <laughs> to do a power attack, press and hold the square button on the controller for a second or two and then release it. Pew. Woo! Anything else to note over here? Copper shield. Any treasure that you find will go into your coin score, displayed in the top right of your display. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. Damn money bags! Even in Spy even in non-Spyro games, you're still begging for for cash. Ah yes, the gargoyles. Bingo. He packs a lot of momentum to him. Like, it takes a second or two to stop after you uh, stop moving the analog stick. Yep, you're gonna die a lot now. Because you didn't really go through the tutorial. You just kinda... You just kinda sprinted to the end, but okay. No, I read some of the stuff. <laughs> you didn't find the secrets. Hmm. Good old days of shoulder buttons moving the camera instead of the right analog stick. Ah, uh, yes, the jank. Welcome back to your beloved Galomir. Sinking dead have risen up to dance with a lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. <laughs> That's dark. Ooh. Alright, you just stay down. You're not gonna come back up. Oh, I gotta yeah. expect an undead the undead to do. It's fine, you're just murdering people. Oh, come Zombies, on. but yeah. <laughs> Can't jump over the fence? Of course not, it's a fence. What do you want, pale yourself? No, I mean, like, he, he looks like he can... Nah, never mind. I got far enough over it. What else we got over here? Oh yeah, that green mist is a life spring. It will store your health. Sweet. Just stand in it. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds. Yeah. And he saw that. Anything else over here? Nah. Don't think we can go through there yet. Or no. We got a... There we go. Room. 
nothing else over here. What do you say? Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Deep. Hey, I think you need you need to move the statue. Yeah. Okay, press the buttons. There you go. Nice. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy, the chalice fills a little more. Once the chalice is full, it is yours to collect, and you will be worthy of visiting the Sacred Hall of Heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. Get to a hero? Yeah. Oh no, wait. You need to have. Full 100%, which you don't. Nope. You need to kill more baddies. See, you're only at like 80. Well, I'm almost there. Yeah. Looks like I might need another rune to get over there. <laughs> Come on. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Nothing up here. Yeah, the movement is pretty janky, but you get pretty used to it. No time. And it's something I'm sure the remake improves on, too. Yeah. And it's still a little janky, but it's kind of like a fun kind of janky. Hey, the chalice can be collected. Nice. I'm going to kill him first, though. It's neat music, but it's really obvious when it loops because it gets all quiet for a bit. <laughs> Oops. Early CD technology. Go grab that chalice. If I can remember the way back. <laughs> if I can. There we go. There's the chalice. Will you collect the chalice? Woo! <gasps> the Hall of Heroes awaits. Yeah. If you can survive. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I can. I guess I, sh I should be able to get up there. Or no, wait. Let's try this. Can I not jump around that? Jump around what? Oh, there we go. Precious treasure. How's your Yu-Gi-Oh coming? Pretty, pretty great. Yeah, he's playing Yu-Gi-Oh on his iPad for the viewers at home. Always getting decimated. You're just playing AI, right? Not online. Yeah.
Yeah, these zombies really aren't a threat. Just don't get don't get up in their faces and don't get reckless. And I'm sure we'll be getting some ranged weapons later, right? You have d throwing daggers. Oh That's yeah, but but. I right. found a copper shield. Copper shield. Wait. What did I do? Yeah. What? You timed out. Oh, okay. That's that's a first for tonight. It's our first timed demo for the whole for the whole since session four began, actually. Yeah, actually, yeah. How long is that? About fifteen minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. Challenge the powers of darkness and untold magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Medieval's a good time. I should uh track down the full game when I can find it for less than 35 bucks, which is what movie trading company charges for it. Yeah, just get the remake. That too. That's I've seen that for, like, uh, cheaper, ironically. 30 Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think it was sold at full price to begin with, though, the, no. the remake. No, it was sold at a discount. Makes sense. When we come back, we'll join, up, out. <laughs> join us for the next demo. Yeah. Woo!